please keep the windows closed at all times. Numbers have a habit of telling misleading narratives. Next patient, patient two. But not here. Hi, good afternoon. Are you here for the coronavirus testing? Not at Neighborhood Health where the numbers tell a story of disproportionate suffering. I had one patient who's in a closet for a week because that was the only way that she could isolate. Neighborhood Health, the largest group of medical clinics in Northern Virginia, caters to the under and uninsured, primarily from immigrant communities. 98% of our patients are below the federal poverty level. Please pull up to the last parking space in front of the number one. Soon after the COVID-19 pandemic hit, they opened four drive-through testing sites. As of mid-May, they've conducted more than 1,200 tests with a positive rate of 54 percent. Northern Virginia's positive rate is less than half at 25 percent. The rest of the state, only 10 percent. Take Virginia's largest county as an example. Latinos and Hispanics are 16 percent of the population in Fairfax County, but make up 45 percent of the county's COVID-19 cases. It's life or death, and it's life or death not only for an individual, but for multiple members in the family. In fact, 90% of this clinic's positives are Latino and Hispanic. Silsa Ortiz de Catalan just recovered from COVID-19. And it wasn't just me, but also my children who got sick. We are four people who all live in one apartment and we all were, were very sick. The very people who clean your offices, ring up your groceries and serve your food like 45-year-old Maria Cabrera Zayala, who worked at a now-closed restaurant. I had a fever of 105 degrees and um, pain all over my body. I was like that for about a week. This is Zayala fighting the virus, isolated to prevent spread. And this is when she found out that she had recovered, only to face a stifling reality. I'm without work right now, I have an unemployment letter. I will go back to work on September 2nd, and I'm going to have to use my savings until then. These are the types of jobs where you can't easily social, social distance. Executive Director Dr. Bassam Khan says this crisis shows in disturbing detail the impact this infectious disease is having on America's working poor in the region. I think what it does is it unmasks many of the underlying problems that we've seen in the first place. But you can feel fear in people's voice. You can feel anxiety. Fear not only of getting the coronavirus, but of losing their jobs, of losing their homes, of not having enough groceries. So Neighborhood Health added another responsibility to their job description. They're partnering with United Community Food Pantry in Alexandria. It could be vegetables, fruits. Delivering hundreds of meals to people actively fighting the virus while isolating at home. Word cannot express what they feel. It's so, they're so grateful. Jose, who would only give his first name, was just cleared to return to work and thankful for food delivered to his door while battling the virus. Impacts your ability to get uh, income and you're not able to leave, you're not able to go out and do the things that you would normally do. And so this has been a huge help to me and my family. While we all want this viral fog clouding our lives to lift, this public health official is not so sure that we are ready to reopen. Things are not getting better, things are getting worse. The numbers that we're talking about ultimately are real people. They're real people in our communities. They're real people that we come into contact with and importantly, we rely on.